Hello from Gary, Texas. I'm going through the refrigerator and cooking up a lot of stuff that needs to get eaten. And I'm going to cook for you today, and it's not going to take me very long at all, maybe five minutes. I'm going to cook for you some snow peas and show you how delicious they are glazed. So good. Hey, Muttley, my neighbor's dog's over here, and little Finny is throwing a hissy fit. Let me show you. So I've melted some butter in the pan, and I put a few drops, so oh, maybe a teaspoon or so, of oil in with the butter. The few drops of oil in with the butter will keep the butter from burning. A little bit of sugar, believe it or not. So let's add a little more. And I'm going to get that melting real good. Add a little salt and pepper right now. Or a lot of pepper. Much less salt. Oh, now it's starting to sizzle. Melt that sugar right in that butter oil mixture. It's just making it kind of syrupy, but not too. We're not trying to make candy here. But more butter than sugar. I don't even know the amount, but I just know it looks right. But I'll try to measure it for you and figure it out. All right, that's good. Now, you want to take your freshly washed beans and just drop them right in there. Mmm, I gotta eat one. Mm -mm -mm, I love those raw. Thins out on the front porch. I think there must be a rabbit under the porch. And I'm just going to saute these until they're tender. Okay, I started these at 317 in a hot skillet. Well, probably a couple minutes before that because I had to melt my butter and my sugar. But then I dropped the beans in at 317. They're done. So let me turn them off and get them off of the heat. Oh boy, they sure do look good. They got a nice little glaze on them. They're barely blistered. And see that little glaze down there in the bottom? This is how much this package made. I'd say enough for two people. Unless you're like me and you could eat the whole bowl by yourself. Let's give them a try. Okay, these are going to be good. I want to put a little more salt on them. Cut that sweetness. A little pepper. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, I love these. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, they're so good. If you always just eat these raw, try them like this. Super good. I also love dropping these, minus the sugar, of course, and the butter. Just, I like to drop, drop these raw in soups. So good. Give these a try. Yum, yum. So bye for now and until the next time. Toodaloo. Nikki and I have got them wiped out in about five minutes. It's going to take about two more minutes to finish these off. Dang, that syrup makes them just so darn good. Give them a try. I mean, these are so good raw, but this beats them ten times cooked. Bye.